Hello everyone, welcome back to Ray House Gaming. Here is a short video for World Sword M. Now we have released, um, we have the ability and transformation release. So some people are asking which one you should get first for your early game. So this short video will tell you which ability and which transformation you should collect for now. Okay, in late game you will need to collect more of course. But for now, let me just share with you. First, the ability. On Theatre, we have this ability event. This one we don't have in Dynasty Hero. Don't spend any money in this event, okay? It does not worth it. You know, you can get all the red abilities and orange abilities slowly from other places, like uh, from the crystal shop. In future, they will add more red ability inside and from the ocean, okay? So don't spend your real money and try your luck. Sometimes you will just get rubbish item from this event with your real money. So um, get it from other places, okay? And the first red ability that you should consider is the Sakura, of course. A lot of people are using invincible shield, so you need to have this old man to counter uh, the invincible shield. It doesn't matter which formation you are using, okay? Um, just get at least one piece of Sakura for your main DPS. Just get one first, okay? Um, don't be... because you still need to call it other, so just get at least one. The second one you will need it is the Eternal Fire. This one you will need it for all your heroes, six pieces, okay? Collect it slowly. And then the third... After Eternal Fires, you will need this Poison Girl for all your 6 heroes. Okay, this one is for late game, so you can get it slowly, no hurry. Okay, the first one is the Sakura ability. Okay. Then for other teams like EV Spirit Team, you know, you can get Sun Wukong ability. This one can stop the Invisible Shield also. But I still suggest you to get one Sakura also for your DPS. Okay, you don't want your DPS to hit the air, so just get... um. Get this one for your EV Spirit Hero, then get Sakura for your DPS. And then for Poison, you have a few Poison ability, just read through it and get it, okay? And then for Sun Wukong players, you should get these two uh, Insignia for him as soon as possible, okay? Get Sakura, then you can get these two. These two are designed for him. After you get these two, you will find that he is very, very good. You know, he can wipe the whole enemy's team. So these two. Alright, so that's about the abilities and this will take you some time to collect it, okay, but don't spend money in this event. About the transformation, now we have the purple transformation that we can buy from the guild shop. Um, on day 18, we will have the transformation event where you can get orange transformation. That is not free of course and depends on your luck. Now it's day 13. So for purple transformation, I have three heroes to suggest for you. One is this Tianyong star. In this game, I noticed that most of the DBS, they cannot attack bad rose enemies. So this guy is to control the bad rose enemies, okay? He can attack bad rose and he can reduce one rage of the enemy in the bad rose. So, you know, this game, people like to book their support hero behind to so that their support hero can give invisible shield for their frontline heroes and then the battle will end up a draw or you will lose okay so if you don't have a hero don't have a dps hero to take care of the backline heroes you can get this guy okay if you have heroes that can take care of back rows enemy but cannot take care of front row enemies then you can get this soma soma is the same he can reduce the rage of front line front row enemies and he can also control them petrify them so this guy is for the front row enemies and then the third one is a tigress she is the best purple healer of course air orange will be better Okay, so if you need a healer in your team, you can get this girl temporary. Okay, she can heal you depending on your HP loss. Each reduction of 10% will give you 5% more healing. So this girl is a very, very good healer. Even in late game, people are using it in, in, uh, in Dynasty Hero game. Okay, so for purple transformation, just choose the one that you need to use. The one that you think is the best for your team. After you get that, you know, just focus on activating the gallery. Okay, gallery like um, you need to collect two, two by two to activate the gallery. After you get one that you want to use, then just buy from the gate shop. Okay, to open the bonds, it will give you attack all this thing. All right, so you will need to buy all the transformation. 
okay all the transformation so just um don't waste your guild points just save it and buy buy the transformation curve first okay so that's all i want to share in this video after they release more i will share more if if, if there is a need okay um and thank you for watching that's all about this video next video will be on wednesday or thursday tomorrow i will be doing for our dynasty hero video okay i will see you guys in my next video bye bye